I know, I know, it's great. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, what'd you get me? Oh, yeah. I think you're gonna like it. Oh! Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh! It's a candle. Yeah? That yeah, looks familiar. Does it? Oh. Look at that, a candle. Yeah, I, I saw it and I thought of you. It looks familiar. Does it? A candle. Yeah, I thought you might need it if the power goes out on New Year's Eve. Oh yeah, Y2K, yeah. Does this look familiar to you? Um. Hey, you got me a candle, how nice. Yeah, cause it seems to me you live your life like a candle in the wind. Yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> I will cherish this forever, 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 forever. I guess we kind of have a tradition with this candle, huh? Yeah, we do. We should stop. Yeah. Maybe we should just use it and be done with it. Right now? Right now. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Give me some more. Mm. What have you done? Oh, well, you know, I started wrapping a Christmas present and then, uh, well, I decided to wrap another one and then another one and, well, I got, got all, all wrapped, wrapped up. up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I guess we just do the show this way? Yeah, why not? Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Mm -hmm. Welcome to, to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Wait a minute. Did you wrap the camera? I told you I got all wrapped up. Oh, man. John. Sorry, everybody. Um, you're about to see just how wrapped up John got, okay? I, I love Christmas! Obviously. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Hmm. I think it's time that we play a game called What Did John Gift Wrap? Ooh, hit the button. What Did John Gift Wrap? First, before we start, let me ask you a question. Okay. Do, do you remember any of the things that you wrapped? No, not a clue. All right, didn't think so, which will make this game a lot more fun. Here's, yeah. here's how it's gonna work. Uh, we're each gonna pick up an object and, and try and guess what's inside, all oh. right? And then we'll take turns and we'll unwrap it and see if we're right. Hey, don't forget to play along at home. Just shout out your guesses, okay? I got this, I got this, yes, I got you, this. You would think, since you're the one who wrapped everything, but we shall see, okay. we shall see. Okay. Let's go, uh, can I go first? Yeah, go for it, go for it. All right. Uh, no, that's the, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, the desk. <laughs> I bet that's what that is. Yeah, let's try this one. Okay. Uh, hair dryer is my first thought. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I know what this is. I'm thinking it's a drill. All right, shall I? Yeah. All right. All right. It's really well wrapped. I know, I know, I wrapped it pretty tight. Oh, ooh. What? No way. Earbuds? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure why I wrapped them that way. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's my turn, turn. Yeah, my yeah, turn. Yeah. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. Mmm, pointy. Okay, I'm gonna go with a sword. Okay, the W is silent. Ah, ah. Okay, here we go. What? <laughs> That's where that went. Uh, not a sword. No. All right, I'll go again. Oh, Shall yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I gotta I'll pick an easy one. Okay, this is it. Here we go. Hmm, I wonder what this could be. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a guitar, right? Uh, yeah, right. probably. Here we go. See, probably. Uh huh. Oh wow. Well, save the ribbon. Save the ribbon. You wrapped orange juice to look like a guitar? Yeah. Yeah, I was thirsty and feeling artistic. Fair enough. Your hmm. turn. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! What do you see? Okay. Over here. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> this looks like a teddy bear. So it's probably a roller skate. <laughs> huh? Okay, here we go. Might as well. Oh, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in myself. You know what? The first one of us to get one right is the winner. Oh, deal! Fair enough. Deal. All right. I'm going to, here. Oh, that's so easy. All right, this looks like a chair. Uh-huh. Can't possibly be a chair, right? Uh, right, so uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go with a book. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! I knew it. It was a book. <laughs> How did you? I don't know. It was just a lucky guess. Hey, and speaking of books, it's Bible story time with Kevin. Let me see that. Uh, 
Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, you know, just unwrapping presents and trying to guess what's inside. Yeah, the usual. Sounds very productive. It is, and as you can see, we have a lot to do. <laughs> That's a really good point. But you know, today's story, in a way, is about unwrapping a new gift. Someone Christmas wrapped an entire room in the Bible? That would be kind of hard because they didn't have Chris... You know what? <laughs> Never mind. How about I just tell you a story and you see if you can find the comparison? Ooh, sounds like a challenge. We're in! Perfect. The story begins back when the Jewish people were under Roman rule and taxed heavily by the Roman army. I'm not sure it worked exactly like that, but it may have, who knows? We do know that Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, which meant that everyone was ordered to go back to their hometowns to be counted. Now, at the same time in the town of Nazareth, a carpenter named Joseph, and his fiance Mary Aww. needed to go on a road trip to Bethlehem, which is where their family was from because they both were born into the family line of King David. But this road trip slash journey was a little more interesting because Mary had just been told by an angel that she was pregnant. <laughs> The angel Gabriel told Mary that the baby's name would be Jesus and that he would be called the son of the most high God. Can you imagine Joseph's surprise when he found out? The trip from Nazareth to Bethlehem took about a week and Mary was really close to having her baby. She must have been so tired and felt exhausted when she finally arrived in Bethlehem. But the problem was, with everyone in town to be counted, there was no place for them to stay and rest. But finally, they were offered not really a room, but at least a place to get out of the street. It just so happened to be where animals stayed. <laughs> At that night, Mary gave birth to a baby boy, the son of the Most High God, and she named him Jesus. Aww. Then she wrapped him in cloth and placed him in the manger because there was no place for him to sleep. That night, the son of the most high God, the king of kings, the prince of peace, slept in the animal feeding trough while the rest of the world had no idea that the best gift ever had just been born. This tiny baby was going to grow up and to teach and heal and perform incredible miracles before giving his greatest gift, his life, for you, for me, and the whole world so that we can truly understand God's love. Wow, I, it kind of makes all these gifts seem pretty ridiculous. Well, some of the stuff we may get is a little ridiculous, but giving each other gifts at Christmas is an amazing way to remember God's gift and how incredible it really was. And, and gifts don't have to be something you can wrap. A, a gift can be uh, helping someone who's in need. Yeah, or singing a song to someone or, or making them laugh. Yeah, sometimes just spending time with someone can be a gift. Hmm. Couldn't have said it any better. Hey, thanks, Kellen. You got it. I think, John, that it's time for us to... Oh, reveal, reveal the, the question! question. Um, what are you excited about giving? Do you have anything you're excited about giving? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made this uh, for my mom. Oh, what is it? Oh. oh, it's a calendar. Yeah, yeah. And it's filled with you. Yeah, yeah, it's filled with some of my best memories. It's, it's also got all the dates of when I'm doing things, you know, just in case she wants to show up and support me. Okay, so January 16th is getting nose hair trimmed. Yeah, yeah, it's a big process. Yeah, she's very supportive. Anything for you? Yeah, well, I do this every year. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite things to do. I pick 10 or 15 people and then I make them a Christmas card. Mm. I, I try to make it personal. You, you never know what it could mean to someone to know that there's someone out there just thinking of them. It's, it's a small way of giving just a little bit of God's love. Yeah, that's better than my calendar. <laughs> it's not a competition. Hey, just the act of giving is pretty awesome.
Well, that's true. I mean, who wouldn't love that? Who wouldn't? Uh, hey, we'll see you next week for the last show of the year. Yeah! We should probably unwrap your basement now, don't you? Oh, know? man, I thought you'd never ask. Bye, guys! See you there, everybody! Uh, bye! I wonder what this is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. Okay. Wow! What? What could this be in the blue? Oh, I know what that is. It's the button console. Oh, the, the chicken! Chicken, chicken, chicken! chicken.